Good morning, guys. Uh, it's Monday, uh, March 23rd. I'm creating another video that I hope will be helpful. Uh, and this is about question two on the West Virginia versus Barnett uh, article. As I've said before, um, it is important that you've read the article. If you go to Google Classroom, um, you should be able to also translate the article into any language that you need. Um, and there's other helpful videos that I'm putting out. One, there's a 41 minute video that uh, I go through the entire article, uh, which you can stop and pause and go back to if you need to. Um, I, I review the questions, uh, I read the article, and I talk about each part of the article. I think it is important you take the time uh, to do that um, so that you can really get an understanding of what I'm looking for. Uh, but right now, I, I just wanted to help you uh, with question number two. Now, question number two is the, um, it's the question that there is no evidence to support this uh, in the article. Um, it's just you have to know a little bit about American history in order to answer it. So first, let me read the question to you guys, and then I'll explain um, the answer. And then you'll just have to put it together in your own words. So the question is, why might the issue of patriotic ceremonies like saluting the flag have been particularly sensitive at the time of this case. Now, um, in case you didn't pick up on the case, uh, it was in 1943. So the question is basically, why would patriotism be an issue or why would this case be an issue uh, around ideas of patriotism in 1943? So. In 1943, and some of you already know this, uh, we were in the middle of World War II. Now, World War II was a time, I would say, of the highest uh, point of American patriotism, where we had to unify as a country um, in order to fight in a global war uh, that was going on throughout the planet um, from 1939 to 1945. So I, I just wanted to, to let you know that, um, you know, this was a time when Americans really pulled together uh, against a common enemy or a couple of different enemies. Um, and they um, were able to uh, pull together and defeat these enemies uh, during World War II. Um, people took the war very seriously. Um, people uh, all sacrificed uh, in different ways, and uh, many Americans died fighting in World War II. So for the Barnett children, and you know, back to the article, imagine that we have the highest point of patriotism where Americans are, are very supportive of their own country. Um, and then they find out that there's a group of children uh, in West Virginia who are refusing to salute the flag or to um, pay tribute or show patriotism to the country while so many Americans are uh, sacrificing their lives to defend the country. Um, and so many people were, were worried about family members that were serving in the military. And many Americans were also making uh, um, sacrifices here at home through food and gasoline rations and other forms of rationing. Um, and everybody um, was doing their best, or the majority of Americans were doing their best to support the war cause. So for people, the average person, uh, to see that there was a group of children in West Virginia that were refusing to salute the flag, uh, many people were very angry um, that these children were refusing to salute the flag in the middle of World War II. Um, so that's really the background to this question is high levels of patriotism uh, throughout the country. Uh, I would say a lack of understanding about um, Jehovah Witnesses. I would also say there was a lack of understanding about what the First Amendment, when we talk about free speech uh, and freedom of worship, really means. Um, so that's the background for question two, and I think that will help you answer the question. So. Uh, please give question two your best shot. Thanks. Oh, and of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me, and it's cliffp at portlandschools.org.